Hi Aries, Narai here, going to do a reading for you guys. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node. Messages and guidance for Aries. I have already put on my Destroy Everything cologne. Normally that's something I would do on camera, but I prefer to be off camera right now. So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node. I'm going to do a quick reading to see what comes out for you guys. Messages and guidance for Aries, please and thank you. Okay, two cards. One more. Thank you. So, two of pentacles, seven of wands. I don't know which one came out first. This is what I have. So, with the Two of Pentacles, you guys are trying to find some sort of balance. Or there may be a need to prioritize. There may be something that has you out of sorts right now. Or you're trying to find some sort of balance. Deciding what's going to be more important to you in regards to something, but I have the seven of wands too. Seven of wands is about you guys protecting your energy. It's also about you speaking up for yourself and standing your ground, letting somebody know when they've made you uncomfortable, Aries. Here we have the page of swords. This could be somebody thinking about you. It could be somebody actually watching you and noticing you because you're in the spotlight right here with the six of wands. This is you guys being recognized, you guys feeling confident. It's like all eyes are on you right now. There's some sort of recognition that you're getting. I feel like you guys are sitting in the king of pentacles energy where you're feeling pretty grounded, pretty stable and secure within yourself. Let's see what else comes out. Mm. Okay. We also have the king of swords. The Ten of Wands. I feel like the Ten of Wands came out first. I don't know which one. And the Two of Wands. It makes me think you guys are focused on your money right now. With the King of Pentacles. And that you are standing in your truth in regards to something. And it may actually have to do with something you were dealing with that was very much a burden for you, where you were taking on a lot of responsibilities. It just makes me think you may have kind of kept to yourself. And look what I pull out. This is actually the second time I'm seeing this card. It's the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is somebody that's kind of retreating and taking a moment of rest to recuperate so just because of the fact that I was talking about this and I pull I actually pulled it from right here um, because of the fact that I see that now it makes me think that you were dealing with something that was really a, a bit of a burden and that you decided to take a moment of rest with the four of swords and now you guys are actually looking to see what else is out there. It's like you're planning. I don't know why I just heard like planning for the rest of your life. I have the judgment card. This has to do with an awakening.
maybe making a judgment call in regards to something. I have the Six of Cups. It actually came out in reverse. The Six of Cups can be a reconciliation card. It can actually also be a card that is about reminiscing because of the fact that I pulled it out in reverse. I feel like you guys may no longer be reminiscing about somebody from the past. And the reason for that is because you have gone through an awakening and you're healing. You're healing. I feel like you guys are moving towards your happiness. You're actually healing. And then I saw this at the bottom of the deck. The Nine of Cups. This is about your wish fulfillment. You're focused on what your wish fulfillment and the things that are actually going to make you happy, Aries. So, emphasis on the fact that you guys are focused on your money right now. Standing in your truth. Being really honest with people. It's like you're not playing and you're focused on the things that actually make you happy. I feel that a lot of you are kind of like no need daydreaming about somebody that's no longer in your life. It happened. It didn't work out. They're gone. Time to move on. And you're no longer reminiscing about the past. I feel like you have your eyes and your, 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 your heart and your eyes are focused on something new in the future. And that's what I have for you. So that's kind of promising. You may actually meet somebody while you're traveling. I have no idea. I feel like this is about, I feel like this is about a relationship. But there's something you want to focus on that's going to make you really, really happy as far as the Nine of Cups. Uh, for some of you, I feel like it's money. But that's what I have for you, Aries. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, and subscribing. Don't forget to hit the like button. Love you guys. Bye.